nine for Me the too. first. Yay, congratulations. Thank you too. Yeah, and a nice pan. I love it. Mm. I don't know how you did um, nine events when you still volunteered in other places besides Toronto, like Korea. Yeah, yeah, Korea was pretty cool. Yeah, so was everything. It's fun. It's yeah, volunteering is great. Yeah, but the Olympics, wow. Yeah, that was exciting. It was definitely exciting. Korea was just um, an amazing experience. Amazing. I'd love to go there someday. Yeah. Well, I, do you want to see some pictures? Absolutely. I <laughs> so do. Yeah, for sure. Give me a, a little sample, break some off. All right, let's have a look here. Oh, this was pretty exciting. This was actually at the uh, skating venues. They did all the skating ones together, the curling and the hockey um, and figure skating. So they had this massive, like, 30-foot skate. It was really neat. That wow. was really cool. Beautiful. What else? Oh, and I learned, like, I know we all know Korea is a, you know, a peninsula, but the Olympics were right on the East Coast. Um, so when the Olympics aren't there, it's a resort, it's like a resort town, like going to Muskoka. Yeah, right beautiful here. beaches. So they have this gorgeous um, um, beach. So it's pretty amazing. It was a little chilly to swim, but anyway. But it was that great. time of year, sure. And they had some neat markets, uh, traditional markets. So this was a really neat seafood booth. So I, I actually had lunch there. Is that seafood here? Yeah, it's all fried shrimp and they had crab and just some kind of fish. I didn't know which kind, but they were all good. All yeah, delicious. And octopus and all sorts of wonderful things. Beautiful. And they had some street parades and decorations and stuff. These were all like paper lanterns and they just were stunningly beautiful. And oh, and the highlight, I went to um, Busan. Um, I traveled a little bit while I was there, and they have a film festival, so instead of TIFF, they have BIFF. <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? So here's me on the equivalent of King Street, where TIFF is, they, um, they have BIFF, so that was pretty cool. And there's a lot of good eating in Korea here. You see me eating a 32 centimeter uh, yogurt cone, so and they measure it for you, as you can see. And more of Busan. This is this very famous iconic bridge. But it's it's really a suspension cool. bridge. Yeah, it's a suspension bridge. Um, if you show this to people that know Korea, like they pick it out immediately, like we do the CN Tower, or whatever. Yeah, it's real, real famous there. And, and another famous thing to do in Busan is to eat at this um, fresh seafood market. So here's dinner one night, and you order it straight from the fisherman raw. And then um, he cooked it for you. So wow, they had some that looks awful. super fresh. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's alive when you buy it. Like, you can't get any fresher. It's just super tasty. You know? That was also very interesting because you're buying from the Korean fishermen. And I love, they displayed the raw fish too. I just thought that was just, it looked beautiful. Yes, yeah, very artful. And the other famous thing in Korea, they had these fish-shaped waffles everywhere. So Cute. finally, um, they're sweet. They're not, um, it's not fish inside. They're just fish-shaped. But they were really cool. And I found them in Toronto. I was so thrilled. Um, um, they have beautiful temples there. And so this is a picture of, um, it's all um, wooden carvings painted, just stunning. Oh, look at the ocean it's just amazing. It's amazing yeah. and, oh, now we're back on the red carpet at Biff. Um, <laughs> somehow, that seemed to be in the wrong order, but oh well. Uh, and this is sitting outside having a coffee. They have a very famous coffee street and the beautiful um, traditional um, uh, dresses that um, the princesses and the Korean royalty wore, they would sell them in the shops and you could also rent them for the day. Wow. So many of the Koreans did that. Um, they would go in the shop and rent a traditional uh, outfit and walk around in it. So. And
And here we're back at the Olympics in Paris, and these are, I didn't recognize them, but they're famous um, reality TV, uh, Korean TV stars. Um, so everybody, the Koreans that recognize them were all really excited to see them. So I took a picture too. And that's Whoop. the Olympics? Or yeah, the, the Paralympics, sorry, Paralympics, yeah. So these were the guys, they were carrying this torch into the stadium, so the torch uh, run finished, so that was pretty cool. But happened to be in the right spot at the right time. Nice. And this is at Canada House. They also um, had a place where the Canadian Royal and the Canadian athletes and families and friends could go. So I was working there as well. So here we are one night um, celebrating at Canada House. Oh, that's pretty cool. And the iconic shot with the mascots. And here I am with um, Barnaby and Surong was the uh, white tiger mascot, so was lots of fun. And here is my Olympic achievement. It's showing me at the top of the ski jump, which we walked up the side. Oh, that's um, really high. It was very high, and it was windy, um, and it's very open. So there's my Olympic achievement. And I finished up the, my um, trip to Korea going to the uh, demilitarized zones, the DMZ as they call it. So that was very, quite emotional actually because it's still quite, um, it's a war zone. It's, there's definitely, um, uh, you know, the barbed wire fence and there was a really awesome um, uh, war museum and I love this shot symbolizing like the strife or the, the hardship of war. It depicts two brothers. One ended up on the North Korean side of the border and the other on the South Korean side. So they're embracing before they go off to war. And they would, of course, have to fight each other. So it was very, it's very emotional, but yes. very well done. Yeah. So yeah, that's just a snapshot. If you have a few more hours, <laughs> I can show you tons more. That's a few highlights. I wish we could go to Korea right now. Me too. I think that we could maybe try to go somewhere here in Toronto. There's a lot of different places that I know of that I haven't actually experienced yet. Do you know Korean food? No, I'm not familiar with it yet. It's awesome. We'll go. All right, let's do it. All right.